Minister of Tertiary Education and Skills Training, Professor Prakash Prasad, said the University of Trinidad and Tobago's collaboration with the Canadian Embassy in Trinidad and Tobago was timely, as everyone needs to be aware of the cybersecurity risks. A particular bank I'm with, but a very, very sophisticated scam was taking place. They were sending you a WhatsApp statement that you're, you need to log in again. And these people, are so, you know, they have set up, set up the same bank's accounts all over the place. So once you log in, they get your login information and they start transferring um, your money from one account to the next, to the next, to the next. Can't be traced. UTT is actively addressing the issue of cybersecurity in that 24 students are expected to graduate from the university's master's degree program in cybersecurity. UTT has a very, very vibrant cybersecurity uh, master's program that is training a lot of the people in Trinidad. And in fact, the professor himself is well known as an expert in the Western Hemisphere. He's called upon to give advice or to represent the region in many sort of um, fora. Canadian High Commissioner Michael Callan highlighted his country's interest in strengthening local cybersecurity. We share family connections, we share business connections, we share cultural connections, and sometimes we share criminal connections. It's only a five-hour flight from here to Toronto, but everyone knows we are just a click or a swipe away. That means that your security is our security. Canada and Trinidad and Tobago are deeply linked, and we have a shared interest in keeping all of our communities on and offline safe. Thursday's cybersecurity seminar dealt with understanding the threat landscape, human-centered threats, response and resilience, as well as building a cyber-resilient future. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.